Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, back with the video. And this video is going to be another tutorial using software defined radio. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to use my RTL SDR dongle. And we're going to try to visualize some uh, GSM signals. Uh, you, gotta get, you guys got to know one thing that uh, GSM is still being used uh, throughout the world. 50% of the countries are still using it. Uh, for voice infrastructure, people are using GSM for data services. Uh, countries are using 4G and, and so on. So it still is being used, it's still a very popular mobile telephony uh, technology that is being used throughout the world. So this is not something that we're discussing that is obsolete, actually it still is still being used. So I have Dragon OS Focal right now and I have my RTL SDR dongle which is connected. So you need two tools to visualize this uh, data which is coming into your uh, SDR you're capturing it using your SDR and you're going to visualize the signal on your Wireshark. So the first tool that you need, uh, I'm using Dragon OS Focal. The reason I use this, I've been telling you guys for a while, it comes with all the tools that you need. It comes with pre-compiled tool. All you need to do is just simply run it. You don't have to worry about compiling it, dependencies and all the issues. Uh, because this is what the, that's the issue that I was facing earlier when I didn't know about Dragon OS Focal. So the tool that we're going to use, make sure you have your SDR, either RTL SDR dongle or, or HackRF is connected. Uh, simply type in GRGSM underscore hit tab. You will see that there are different tools. There are scanners, capture, channelizer, uh, and there are a bunch of to tools that are there. So I'm going to use simply LiveMon. We're going to monitor this using GRGSM live monitor and this is going to start running this uh, GRGSM live monitor and all of a sudden this will start getting populated uh, just give me a minute I think I, you can also use the same script to do an MZ catch uh, MZ MZ catching using same tool I'm gonna change this frequency hold on a second I would like to change this frequency to 935 megahertz and I would like to increase this gain on my dongle to around 40 dB. And this, I'm going to go about 935 megahertz. That's the sweet spot that I want to hit. Because this is where you will see the activity. You can see it here on the spectrum. So we're going to wait for it to populate. What will happen that all of a sudden, once this start populating, you will see a lot of bunch of hexadecimal codes which start appearing here. And then, meanwhile, this is happening. We're going to open up another terminal, and we're going to open up our Wireshark, which is going to be sudo Wireshark. So we're going to run Wireshark in the root command space, tag K, tag F. And we're visualizing this because these are going to be UDP packets. We're going to look at some of the messages, which are like synchronization messages, which are coming in from our GSM network and Y, GSM tab. This is the filter that we're using in our, G, in our Wireshark. Tag I, hello. So what this will do, this will execute my Wireshark. It will apply a filter of GSM tab, and we're gonna look at UDP packets, which are basically your synchronization packets that you will be receiving at whatever the frequency that you're targeting. So in our case, it's going to be 935, Whatever the frequency that we're targeting, we'll start seeing those messages soon. So once I run this, Wireshark will open up. Since we have already applied our GSM tab packet, you're not seeing anything yet. Because once this starts populating here, you will start seeing those messages coming in. So we're going to wait for it. We're going to wait for GRGSM to do its work. And all of a sudden, we will see that this, where we will start seeing those synchronization packets which are coming in from our GSM. So, which is being received actually by my SDR, RTL SDR DOM. So we're going to wait for it. So, now as you can see, uh, this uh, GRGSM live monitor start populating and you can clearly see this on your screen 
And now you can also look at, you can also go ahead and look at your uh, Y shark. You can also see these packets start coming in. So this is probably the first step that you need to do uh, when you are trying to look for, trying to decode GSM packets uh, using GRGSM and Wireshark. And this is how you're actually going, this is going to be your first step of achieving that, uh, capturing uh, GRGSM, using GRGSM to capture those synchronization packets which are coming in using your RTL SDR dongle. Once you have these packets coming in, you can also save them as well. So these are just synchronization packets, so which are basically just your channel, which is CCH channel. And then you can click on each of these packets and you can visualize them and you can also look at your RFCN numbers and things like that. So I hope you like the small tutorial on GRGSM and Wireshark. How are you going to take this data which is coming in raw from your SDR to Wireshark to get them uh, to visualize that particular data. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.